curious what options you have when it comes to popcorn ceilings, replacing them or dealing with them. Stick around as we get into that in the question of the day. What's going on, guys? Matt in the hat. Matt Johnson Real Estate, powered by Keller Williams Diamond Partners. You are tuned in to the hot list. I come to y'all Monday through Friday, each and every week around 12 o'clock Central Standard Time. We hang out and talk real estate. We talk properties new to the market, properties that have had a recent price reduction or something unique about the property I want to share with everybody and want you to know. I also answer a question of the day that is submitted by a listener of the podcast. And so you know how to get your question submitted. Stick around till the end. And of course, finally, I recognize and thank a sponsor of the week each and every week for their support in being a sponsor for the, for the show. And if you are interested in that, stick around till the end of the episode and I'll give you some information on how you can reach out, get a hold of me and get in contact. So thank you guys for joining, tuning in, whether you are catching this live, whether you are catching this on the replay on Facebook, YouTube. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate your support and continue watching this. Uh, it is it is Friday uh, and everybody is prepping for the weekend. And I know that I have some appointments coming up later today and throughout the weekend as well. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into this. Uh, for my Facebookers, make sure you comment hashtag live, hashtag replay, depending on how you're watching this. My YouTubers out there, thank you for stopping by, checking out the channel. Love your support. Thank you so much. Make sure that you smash that thumbs up button and help me out on YouTube and I, so I can share, educate some other people and subscribe to the channel. Turn on those bell notifications so as I bring new videos, new content, you can come check them out. The property we're talking about today is 3612 Caribou Lane right here in Emporia. This is new to the market. It is a ranch style house. It has five beds, three baths, has an attached two car garage, has 2,856 square feet of finished space, currently listed for 325,000, courtesy of Advantage Realty Group. Uh, this is going to be in the Northwest part of Emporia. Very, very nice, nice house. Like I said, it's a ranch. So with this one, it is on a cul-de-sac so that is definitely one thing it already has going for it. It's got a full finished basement with a rec room and a wet bar. Who doesn't love a, a wet bar? Am I right? And it's got a fireplace in it that's gas, so a little cleaner than having to cut wood, chop wood each time. All you got to do, flip it, spark it, and you're ready to roll. In the kitchen, it, they do have granite countertops in there. Uh, it's got vaulted ceilings throughout the house and the laundry is located on the main floor, which is always nice to see. So you don't always have to go up and down, up and down those stairs. Now, what is special and unique about this, this house also has an in-ground pool. Yes, it is closed for the season. It is there nonetheless. It's also got a nice deck off the back that has uh, benches built into it, which is very cool. A patio and a shed for storage. <clears throat> so if you are interested have any questions make sure you click on the link in the description that's going to take you right to my website so you can see this house for yourself while it is available if you are pre-approved and want to take a look at it all you got to do is just shoot me a message or give me a phone call i would be happy to set up a time help you out and be that real estate resource that uh, you need through the process before I get to the question of the day, I do want to recognize and thank our sponsor of the week this week, and that has been Norfolk Iron and Metal. Uh, they're a metal fabrication company. Uh, we do have a location here in Emporia. Uh, like I've mentioned and talked about all week, I've had a number of close friends that work there, continue to work there, and they absolutely love it because it's more than just a job. They grow you, they develop you, create you. Uh, and work with you and create a career for you. So if you guys have any questions or curious what jobs that they're hiring for, because they are hiring right now, I've included a link in the details. So all you have to do is go check out that link. It'll take you right to their Facebook page. You can call them directly or go to their website and 
see what careers and what job openings they have available right now. If you are curious how you can become a sponsor of the week and be recognized on the show, all you got to do is reach out to me through Facebook, through my website, or wherever you're listening to this. I would love to jump on the phone with you, have a quick call, see if we are a good fit, and we are going to match up well. Uh, and then we can get in, get you on the show as far as being a sponsor of the week. Now, for the question of the day, I, I do love these because the questions are submitted by listeners and supporters of the podcast. So if you have a question that you want to, number one, get answered, and number two, get on the show, all you got to do, wherever you're listening to this at, just drop in the comments section, whatever your question is, I would be happy to get you an answer as well as get it on the show. Uh, so this question, oddly enough, comes from from my wife, um, who uh, it has no fear about projects, jobs, or putting me to work with the with the honeydew list that you know I don't ever get done. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. So she wants my wife wants to know what can we do about the popcorn ceilings in our house because she's not a fan of them. She doesn't like looking at them and she thinks they're ugly. Uh, my suggestion was you know Kind of like what I've done. We can just put a beard on it, help cover up part of it, and it's already better looking. And that was not uh, good enough for her, apparently. So, don't get me wrong. Popcorn goes great with with movies. Maybe as decoration around the Christmas tree, that was never my thing. But in my opinion, never as a ceiling texture. I don't know who came up with that or the history behind it. Personally, I think it looks more like cottage cheese than popcorn. I'm just saying. Nonetheless, I was a huge design and widely used from the 50s up through the 80s. Now, as a warning, before I get too far into this and we, we go too deep, uh, many popcorn ceilings were manufactured with asbestos fibers. Uh, this was legal up until the mid-70s, keeping in mind that they were still able to continue to sell it until the entire stock was depleted in the mid-80s. So having asbestos in your ceiling doesn't necessarily pose a health threat or risk itself. The problems occur when the materials are disturbed, uh, meaning cut, scraped, punctured, and doing any of this releases the dust particles that actually contain the asbestos, which can be inhaled. We all know it's extremely bad for your lungs. Uh, so if you suspect that you have asbestos fibers in your popcorn ceiling, or maybe you don't know, I would recommend having an asbestos test done on your ceilings. Um, you know, as if you're considering cutting out or removing any parts of the ceiling, I would also recommend using a respirator that is designed to capture any asbestos particles. Now, depending on where you live, just keep in mind there may be a permit required or a licensed professional that is licensed and insured to remove asbestos. So, now that we've covered we've covered all that and I brought the doom and gloom on you there are let's let's get one thing straight I have not done or scraped a popcorn ceiling I had, I know plenty of people that have I've talked with them I've seen it done it is a huge pain in the ass even under the best circumstances sometimes it's there's even more trouble or risk uh if you do have asbestos materials, there are several other options for refreshing your popcorn ceiling without the risk. So what we're going to talk about today are four popcorn ceiling options. So number one, repainting. Yep, that's right. Repainting. Um, because with, with the popcorn, it is hard to clean. Possibly it can even date your home as well. Um, 
like our house, for example, was built in the late seventies. So the popcorn ceiling was the original ceiling texture, regardless of how I feel about it, how you feel about it. Unfortunately with houses like ours and around where we live, that's actually period appropriate design. So it is what it is. So if it's not disturbed, it's holding, holding up well, there's no issues other than, you know, my wife not liking it, for example, you can repaint it. This is going to give it a, a newer, cleaner and fresher look. Uh, it's cheap, it's simple, and painting it doesn't require any patching or repairing. So that's a bonus and benefit all around right there. Number two, encasing it in drywall. Yep, that's right. So consider a thin drywall, consider thin drywall that is designed for ceilings. Now I'm not talking about, you know, bringing your ceiling down a foot. You're talking maybe half inch to, to five, five eighths inch, if not, if not thinner. This gives you a brand new ceiling to work with work with and this sandwiches any asbestos between two layers of material so with this you can start fresh with a lot less mess than than scraping it and unlike scraping the the popcorn you know there's not much of a hassle or risk that you have to deal with as well now doing this if your ceiling is less than than perfect uh, you know a fresh drywall can still be added on top of the popcorn. Just make sure that you, the attachment that you're putting up there is consistently level across the entire ceiling. So this may require some shimming in some places uh, when you're matching, matching up drywall. So just, I'm warning you, warning you right there. So that right there is, is your warning uh, and cover my ass, make sure it's level. Number three, installing a new ceiling system. There are several lightweight ceiling systems that are available. Um, all of these are used to cover up popcorn or other type of texture ceilings. Generally, these have or are designed with tongue and groove segments. They work like your flooring and like a rail system is. The, re the result with these are a very seamless new ceiling pattern and it's got you got several choices with this. Uh, the most popular ones are some type of uh, mimic wood ceiling. You've got tin ceilings or beadboard ceilings. Uh, so just keep in mind they're going to snap together, and you can essentially like you would line your hardwood floors, but it's going to be on the ceiling. <clears throat> And finally, number four is going to be removing the popcorn texture. Uh, again, this is going to be if you know that you don't have asbestos or having somebody come in and, and do it, um, you can oftentimes m remove it with some type of scraper or trowel just by scraping it off. Sometimes, uh, and you're not going to know until you try doing a small patch of it, depending on how it was applied, it may just scrape off pretty easy dry, or you may have to take a water bottle and just spray it down uh, and let it let it sit to absorb some of that moisture so that you can then scrape it off. Just remember, if you, you remove this, whether you are doing it dry, whether you're scraping it wet, it is going to get messy. It, you're going to get it everywhere, um, and it is not always easy to clean up. So I would recommend removing everything that you possibly can, taping off that that room. So tape off the doors, the windows, the entryways. Protecting your walls is going to reduce the amount of cleanup that you have as well. So all you gotta do, just tape, tape up some plastic around the walls, the floor, and really do your best to try to contain it in that room. So any doorways or entryways, tape those up as well so you can try to limit it to that room. It can be a complicated process from what I've seen and what I've talked to people about. Again, not having done it personally, thank God. Uh, but 
just one one last thing I want to throw in here. Please wear a mask. Whatever you're doing, don't try to, you know, show how how tough you are, or how much of a man you are by not wearing some type of mask or rep, respirator. It's it's not worth it. You're going to only do damage to yourself and your loved ones. So make sure that you wear a mask, whatever you're doing. So that that's it. Uh, the four options when it comes to your popcorn ceilings. Number one, you can repaint it. Just gives it a fresher, cleaner look. You don't have to do any patching or repairing. Number two, encasing it in another layer of drywall. Again, that sandwiches the popcorn and or asbestos in between two layers. And you're starting with a brand new, brand new ceiling. Number three, installing a ceiling system. Uh, typically these are tongue and groove style like flooring. So you've got a mimic wood ceiling, tin ceiling or beadboard are the most popular ones as of this year. And finally, you can replace the entire popcorn texture by scraping it off uh, by yourself or hiring somebody out. Your house, your mess, your choice. So that is going to wrap it up for me in this episode of the Hot List today. So thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys watching, listening, and your support. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to be your real estate resource, so please use me as you see fit. So thanks for watching the Hot List with Matt in a hat. Matt Johnson Real Estate, powered by Keller Williams Diamond Partners. I do this because your experience matters and should be trusted with a veteran. Y'all have a phenomenal weekend, and make sure you tune back in here Monday, 12 o'clock Central Standard Time. I love y'all. Take care.